Welcome to the Creative Plane Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, assigned to Ragnarok Story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here with the next episode of Kickstarters We Want to See Happen. So, this month I'm picking Mech. Age of Steel Anthology by J.M. Martin. Tales of Giant Mechs by Kevin J. Anderson, Jody Lynn Nye, Graham McNeil, Jeannie Kosh, Peter Kleins, and many, many more. From Ragnarok Publications, in 2013 the monsters were unleashed. And the world trembled. Mankind brought to its knees. Terror reigned. But humanity would not be conquered. In 2016, man rose up and brought the war to the beasts. Mech. Age of Steel, featuring all new tales from Kevin Anderson, Jody Nye. Join us, and together we can defeat the Kaiju. Mech, Age of Steel, a 2016 Ragnarok Publications. Music was Volatile Reaction by Kevin McLeod. But one reason why I really wanted to bring this book to your attention was it's a great anthology series written by great writers. By the way, Gina Kosh agreed to give us a quick little interview, though. We've talked together. We've known each other for quite a few years now from conventions we've both been to. And she also has a character in the original book, which is Kaiju Rising, Age of Monsters. Back in 2013, a little movie called Pacific Rim rekindled our love for giant monsters. It gave editor Nick Sharps an idea that grew to become Kaiju Rising, Age of Monsters. Thanks to Kickstarter and Ragnarok Publication, Nick's dream became a reality. And a massive anthology was born. From early on, we envisioned a companion anthology to Kaiju Rising, focused on the other half of the equation that made Pacific Rim so much fun, giant robots. And so Ragnarok is proud to introduce this anthology by 25 of today's most talented storytellers. We give you... Mech. Age of Steel. Well, this one's this one's Mech Age of Steel. It's technically it's technically the follow up to Kaiju Rising Age of Monsters. So Mech Age of Steel is the follow up anthology to Kaiju Rising Age of Monsters. I was in Kaiju Rising with with my story with Bright Shining Faces, writing as J. C. Koch, which is the name I write horror under. And Mech Age of Steel, I'm in as well. This is not necessarily a follow-along story, but it is now we're in the giant robots fighting all the things, and my story in that is Jägermeister. So, and we do Tuckerizations, which are, you are allowed to, you know, buy an opportunity to be a character in the story. Most people, when they do Tuckerizations, tend to kill their cousins their tuckers i uh, tend to make them main or supporting characters and keep them going so uh i i'm a great i'm a great tucker purchase because that way you know you're really in the story i have one left i had two location tuckerizations in jägermeister and four character tuckerizations and we only have one character tuckerization left so if you want to get in on my story you need to zip right over there are other people who are also doing tuckerizations 
There are people that are doing reviews of your manuscript, all sorts of, you know, books and other goodies. So there's all sorts of prize levels. So it's really, really cool. Ragnarok, who is the publisher, does a wonderful job. Beautiful, beautiful books. And uh, there are two different covers. The um, hard cover, cover art, which is a blue background, literally looks like it was written for my story. So I really like that. The trade paperback version, which is more of a pink background, doesn't, but it's also hugely cool. So we, they get wonderful art. And if we hit the right funding level, then every story gets illustrated. And Frankie B. Washington is the main artist and fabulous stuff. And he did a two-page spread for my story. So I absolutely want us to get to that because it is awesome. So go back, Mech Age of Steel. It's running for the next couple of weeks, and uh, you want in. Trust me, we're over 50% uh, to funding, but like I said, we really want to hit those stretch goals because everybody gets more, uh, those of you getting the books in particular. Now, I just want to let you guys know, it's still about $3,000 from hitting its pledge. It's made 11000 of the fourteen it's aiming for. It's got over 300 backers, and we've got 20 days to go before the end of the month to get this Kickstarter to happen. So, hey, I hope you guys join me in kickstarting this great project. That's Mech, Age of Steel Anthology. On Kickstarter. And hey, for the second Kickstarter I'm hoping is Expedition. The Role-Playing Card Game by Todd Medema. It's a card-based cooperative role-playing game that lets one to six players play. But let me have Todd explain it to you. Expedition, the role-playing card game, is a streamlined adventuring experience designed from the ground up to be fast and fun for adventurers of all levels. It plays one to six players, with one additional player as an optional guide. We wanted to create an experience that's focused on the role-playing, and yet is easy enough to introduce new players to the hobby. While character creation and combat in other RPGs can bog down the actual role-playing, Expedition's streamlined system allows groups to jump into a game in under 10 minutes. Using our free mobile app, available for all smartphones and tablets, groups can play pre-constructed adventures that don't require a guide, or play their own custom adventures with one player acting as a guide. To start, the guide draws enemy cards to create an encounter. As soon as all enemies are in place, combat begins. Each player quickly draws their top three ability cards, plays one, and discards the rest. The player then places their finger on the app. Once all players have placed their fingers on the app, the timer stops. Once the timer is stopped, players resolve their chosen abilities by rolling a 20-sided dice. Then, the app deals damage to all players based on the difficulty of the enemies, plus the amount of time the players took to prepare. So it's important to be quick, just like in real combat. The beta version of the cards and the app are already available for free on ExpeditionGame.com. Expedition comes with over 150 cards, a 20-sided dice, health trackers, and a quick start sheet. Thanks for watching, and please consider making Expedition a reality. Hey guys, so I hope you'll join me and we'll back this Kickstarter because so far it's actually already made it its minimum pledge and they still have 10 days to go with over 360 backers backing them. And hey, it's a great game, literally set up for the game. They show you in the video it takes less than 30 seconds to get the game started and you can finish the game in about 10 minutes. So I don't know about you, I'm actually looking forward to using that as a quick filler game of, hey, sorry, GM's got to do something. Here, play this quick game while I'm getting ready. So like always guys, Thank you for listening, and hey, let's get these Kickstarters we want to see happen, happen.